Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brady Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at the Niagara software maintenance policy. This is uh, something that Tritium uh, implemented a few years ago. I think it flies under the radar for a lot of people, but I do think it's super important for you to have an idea of so that you're picking the proper versions to use on your sites and you're updating as you should be. So let's jump in and take a look. So with Niagara 4, Tritium has moved to a fairly uh, regular release cadence. So typically we're looking at one major release per year. And by major release, I mean like a major point release. So that would be uh, going from 4.12 to 4.13. So that was our, our latest major release. Uh, and these releases typically see our flashy new things, new features, enhancements, um, and occasionally some bug fixes as well. But uh, typically the bug fixes and the security patches, that kind of thing, come with what's known as maintenance. Uh, maintenance is your uh, minor releases that get added into the major point releases. So typically that's like a 4.13.1, 4.13.2, that kind of thing. So Tritium now only keeps two major versions of Niagara in active support or active maintenance. Uh, the first of those two is going to be the most recent release. So as of this video's creation, the end of September 2023, we're talking about 4.13. And uh, with that release, since it was a major one, it kicked 4.12 out of support. The other uh, version that is uh, stays supported is the LTS version, so the long-term support version. Uh, according to Tritium's policy on this, and you can read uh, that long document uh, from, from Tritium directly, uh, it says that for a minimum of two and a half years uh, post the release of this version, which is tagged specifically as an LTS, uh, it will continue to get support. So the current LTS version is 4.12. So if we kick over here to our matrix, so we, we take a look at the, uh, the maintenance policy uh, roadmap and how things have gone from year to year, version to version, we can see that uh, that LTS version 4.10 was released in March 2021. So it's, um, it's already two plus years of support now. And it's going to be continued to be supported until 4.15, which if we follow the same sort of cadence that uh, Tritium has been following, it's probably going to be another two years. So if you're uh, installing sites and you don't care a ton about the latest and greatest fancy new features that Tritium might be coming out with, the LTS version is going to be your best bet for staying at. Because if you stay on those latest releases, you can see that they run out of support fairly quickly. Um, 4.12 was actively supported for uh, a little less than a year. Um, 4.11, even less so. Uh, and you can see as the, those new releases come out, the previous version uh, leaves active support. So for our best practices, uh, we like to say to stay on those LTS releases wherever possible. For stability's sake, you'll still receive patches for security. You'll still receive patches for bugs. Um, you just won't get the latest, you know, fancy new uh, flashy features that might come in a current release. But bug fixes and things that make their way into a current release are typically backported into the LTS releases. So if you are staying on a current release, you do want those new features if there is a specific feature that you want in a, uh, a current release. It's important that you keep aware of when new releases are also um, released by Niagara or by Tritium uh, because with the cadence that they're following now, uh, no matter when you install your version that's current, you'll probably fall out of support within a year. So uh, in our T-support support channel at Brody, uh, it's not uncommon for us to get uh, emails on support for, for versions of Niagara that have been fairly regular or fairly long out of support. 
Um, if you stay at the LTA, LTS release, the likelihood of that happening is significantly less because you know you have way more time that you can stay there and your bug fixes and things because they're just models modules are uh, much quicker to install than a full release would be uh, for these major current releases. So hopefully that was helpful for you. I think uh, now that um, people are becoming more aware of security and things like this, uh, it makes it much more beneficial for you to stay at an LTS release because you know that you're going to get those security updates all the time and you're not going to need to go through the more involved process of moving from a major point release to another major point release um, once a new one comes out and pushes your release out of support. So hopefully that was helpful and informative for you. Um, as always, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.